If you just so happen to own an older Honda Civic, a 240SX, or something along the lines of like an E30 BMW, or you know, like any other four lug car, you're probably going to go through or have already the struggle of trying to find wheels for your car. Luckily, we deal with all kinds of stuff like that here at Fitment Industries, and we're here to help. I'm Jels from Fitment Industries, and on today's episode of The Build Sheet, we are going to be going over and breaking down some of the best four lug wheel options for you to choose from. Before we go ahead and get into it, don't forget to subscribe, and if you're looking for new wheels or tires or suspension, or all three. For your car, don't forget to check out fitmentindustries.com. And while you're over there, don't forget we got the giveaway going on with Conse Wheels for the month of January. Time is running out. The shirts are going quick. Once they're gone, they're gone. Pick up a shirt, get automatically entered, and win a free set Conse Wheels. It's great. So when it comes down to four lug wheel options, they can become a little bit tricky to track down, especially when it comes to size and more importantly, bolt pattern, simply because there are not a lot of cars out there with four lug hubs anymore. Either they've been converted to a five lug setup or have simply just been taken over by the influx of newer cars hitting the market, which of course have five lugs. And unfortunately, this doesn't make it the easiest of time when it comes down to finding a new set of wheels for your car. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down some of your best options for four lug wheels from what we see currently available out on the market right now and put them into some price categories ranging from low or entry level to intermediate all the way up to high. So with that being said, let's go over some entry level wheels that are going to have a price range of roughly around $350 to $500 for a set of four. And I know that sounds pretty crazy. However, wheels with a four lug bolt pattern are typically only like 15 or 14 or 16 inches in diameter. So Starting off, Koning comes in pretty strong with the entry level category, but still hits it right on the head as far as looks and performance with models like the Illusion and the Knockout. Mostly hitting that 4x100 market, Koning does offer 4x108 and 4x114, but unfortunately, I'm sorry to say guys, or the 4x110 guys, they're not going to be for you as Koenig does not currently offer any 4x110 wheels in their lineups. We also see another brand with a strong presence in this category, and that is MST Wheels, offering more of an old school styling with a model such as the MT11, MT13, and their Time Attack. You can find yourself picking up a brand new set of MSTs for right around $400, depending on the size and the color and the offset and all that kind of stuff. Again, hitting mostly that 4x100 and 4x114 and touching a little bit into that 4x108 bolt pattern with a few sizes and a couple different models, we still can't seem to find something that'll hit that 4x110 crowd. I'm sorry. Getting a little higher into that $400 mark, we start seeing F1R starting to come into play. Now, F1R offers a good variety of sizes and finishes for their wheels, the models like the F05, the F07, and the F01, being some of their more popular models in this bolt pattern and size. However, the F1Rs are going to be limited to the 4x100 and 4x114 bolt patterns only. As we continue to go up from here into the higher 400s, we see other brands like JNC, for instance, start to pop up pretty much all over the place. Now, JNC has an absolute ton of different models and finishes as well, a good variety of size and offset to make sure that they'll fit on pretty much any vehicle that you have that takes a four lug wheel. We see the 004s is a very popular choice among the JNC wheels as well as JNC 010. And then last but certainly not least, to close out the entry level category, we have NK coming in with their J10 and their EDR9 models, which sit right around $470 for a set, which really, when you're thinking about it, isn't bad at all. They're not RPF ones, but you're still getting an NK wheel. Moving on to our intermediate category, which let's label this as wheels that land between $500 and $1,000 for a set. We see some of the same brands that we did before, but with some different models coming in here. Koenig, again, for instance, reaching into that $600 range with wheels such as the Decagram and the Freeform, and even that Hypergram when you get up into that around that $800 mark. Now, you may be asking why, why are these ones more expensive? And the answer is simply because they are a floor form wheel, so straying away from your traditional cast wheel and adding a little bit more technology into the manufacturing process to give you a better strength to weight 
ratio. Another brand that comes into the mix here is another one that you've probably heard of, which is Clutch. Another wheel company offering some old school designs with a decent amount of finishes and sizes. Models like the SL1, the SL2, and more of like a crazy or turbo fan-esque kind of style, the KM16. And then, of course, topping off this category, we see NK coming in strong with, yes, the RPF1. Offering a vast amount of sizes and offsets to make sure every Miata owner on the road is as happy as their car. Not much to say about the RPF1, you know? It's a very light, good-looking wheel that will never really let you down. And depending on the size, you can snag some brand new ones for a little over $800 a set. And I'm gonna just break my own rules here and stretch that $1,000 cap just a little tad bit so we can talk about a couple other ones that really should fall into this list. And that would be some Rotiform and 1552 options. With the wheels like the Chicane and the Podium and even some Integrals and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure that you're well aware of 1552. And even some wheels like Rotiform, like the RSE and the Rotiform 6 are going to land into this category as well, right around that $1,100 dollar mark. They're going to top off that list for the intermediate category. Now, I know, I know, I know, okay? There are a lot of wheels that ended up in the entry to intermediate category, and you're like, Gels, I'm a big boy. I want some big boy wheels. Are there any options for me here? And absolutely. We, of course, have some of the big names of the industry coming into the last category, which we are going to cover today. Starting off that list is the good old Graham Light 57CR, a wheel developed by Ray's Engineering and can be scooped up brand new for right around $1,200. Advan Racing also carries some four lug options as well with their RGD2, which is a price tag of right around $1,500. And honestly, like when you truly think about it, that's not terrible at all. Like seriously, simply because they are a smaller wheel, but you can pick up brand new Advans for 1500 bucks. Stepping it up from there, we see Volk with the ZE40 offering a four by 100 option for a good old price tag of $2,200, which is then followed by our first and only multi-piece wheel of the list, and that is the Work Seeker. This is a two-piece forged wheel offered in an 18-inch diameter even, still with that four-lug bull banner, and coming in right around $2,400. And then to top it all, to close the day out, can you guess it? You're probably right. None other than the Volk TE37. Yes, you can get a four-lug TE37, and it's still going to run you right around three grand. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just, you know, that's that's the way it goes. But there you have it, some quick breakdowns of some four lug wheel options that will hopefully help you out a bit in your endeavor to find a new set of wheels for your car. Let us know your top picks down in the comment section below. And of course, every wheel that was mentioned in this episode is available right now over at fitmentindustries.com, as well as many others. So I'm Gels from Fitment Industries. Don't forget to subscribe, pick up a t-shirt, get entered in to win some free wheels if you haven't already. See you later. Peace.